Hey guys and welcome back to another Deep Woken video. So if you guys haven't already seen, Sun Heart has been reworked, which is why I'm on my Sun Heart slot. Um, and I have to say, the rework I have to say overall was pretty interesting. If I start, if you guys are new and enjoy Deep Woken content, you know, type of content, things like that, make sure you like and sub, I do a lot of that. But anyways, we're going to get into the Sun Heart rework showcase. So first off, we're going to go through everything that Sun Heart now has, as well as has kept. So we still have ankle cutter. If you guys don't know what that is, uh, it's just you slide and then you do this ankle cutter. And that was like some weird uh, purple aura with you know that matches the color of my tattoos. I'm not too sure uh, why this. You know, I'm not too sure if this is some kind of buff. It might be because of the flow state that I was using earlier, which I will get into in a bit. We still have dread fighter, which basically gives you stacks. You know, increasing your mantra resistance up to 25%. Each stack lasts up to 15 seconds. Now we have flow state, which enter a moment of extreme focus in which you can change the wind up of your special attacks with the correct timing. So I'm assuming flow state basically improves your talents as a whole. So if I was to, for example, do um, flow state with ankle cutter, maybe I, I think because I used it earlier, I think that was, that's basically how it gets better. I'm not too sure if that's what it actually does, but just assume flow state is some kind of power up. We also now have mayhem. Initiate a special dash attack by pressing M1 during the start of your dodge. So to proc this attack, you basically have to dodge and then press M1 like like so. It has a 15-16 second cooldown, and, but I have to say it is very cool. We still have Merciless Blade, which executes enemies faster. We now have Relentless Hunt, M1 while doing an aerial attack to initiate a gap close close attack. You just have to M1 while doing an aerial attack to initiate a special gap closer. Now we have Rising Star. So for Rising Star, I can't lie to you. Um, I have mixed feelings about this because this does mean that Manikata was removed, which sucks because that was like the best town heart talent. But um, basically how Rising Star works is the same as Manikata, but you don't need any dread stacks. You just do this and you know, boom. I'm assuming doing that puts them in the air, but obviously since I'm not with an opponent, you don't, you can't see it, but that's how it would look like with an opponent. Next we have True Vantage, we still have this old talent, which you know, venting makes you invisible briefly, as well as boosting your speed. Um, and we also have another new one, Unmatched Dexterity. Press X to quick swap between weapons within your toolbar. So, as this suggests, you need to have your weapons in your toolbar, not in your, this part of your inventory, but they have to be like here. And so, if you have more than one, I'd say, um, you just press X and you randomly get another weapon. So, give me the Petra's Anchor. I press X again, and... No, boom rail blades and you can actually pretty much spam this um, and this also works in combat which is very cool so using rail blade you want to switch boom easy mix up now you've got the pre Eden stuff pretty pretty cool um, feature I won't lie this is my this might be one of my favorite ones and the last one vengeful pursuit you're running in ones that don't hit send out a special mid-range crescent projectile that slows on hit Tracks onto those with the backs turned to you. So that's basically just you know that slash that I was doing earlier. It's it's an old talent. It's not uh, new. Yeah, as you can see there, Vengeful Pursuit. It's not new. This is something we, that we had before. Yeah, that's basically all that Sound Heart now has. I'm not gonna go through everything that was removed for Sound Heart. So uh, Load Star has been removed. This was basically a talent that when it procked, it made your opponent not be able to use Mantras for a bit. They also removed Manikada as you saw with. Um, and has been replaced with a rising star. Sudden Heart no longer innately has 10% martial resistance. Basically means we're not as buff as we used to be, but it's fine, I guess. Um, it works pretty cool overall, but I'm guessing this just means that Sudden Heart builds won't be as broken, because they also, because Dread Stacks no longer give a damage multiplied to M1s and crits. Again, because of this talent as well, um, some hard builds won't be as broken because you know when you M1 and use dread stacks you'll do more damage but this is no longer a thing so uh, this basically means that this rework overall was basically to balance sound heart because if we're being honest even though sound heart did get some nerfs over time this rework was somewhat needed to be fair in PvP so I'd say PvP is like a lot more fair you know with these builds you're not gonna get killed in like three hits no more with a flipping with a hubris hive lord's hand you know with i don't know whatever enchant they have on it but uh, i have to say as well overall it's not a terrible rework but 
this may make him not as viable for PvE. What I mean by this is Manikata was very good for PvE, you know, for the high parameter just to get a bit of hits in. It was pretty good for that. And now that it's gone, and along with some other stuff, I'm not sure how this is going to be in PvE, but the, PvP wise this definitely is more fun. I mean, you can just do things like this. You can also just do things like, you know, it's just, it's just a lot more fun. I have to say, Sound Hearts has definitely gotten a lot more fun. I actually kind of like this rework, except for Manikari getting removed. It's still a really good rework, I have to say. You guys can let me know your thoughts, though. I'm interested to hear what you guys think. And, yeah, that's going to be all for this video. Let me know what you guys think. Is this a good rework? Is this a, you know, mid-rework, bad rework? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time.